Welcome back to our Gen Con 2022 coverage. I'm here with someone you've probably played one of his games. It's Corey Konetska. He he has 3,000 scoundrels here, and that's what we're going to be talking about. But Corey, we've met a couple times, yeah. but not too much. Uh, thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Absolutely. What can you tell us about 3,000 scoundrels? Yeah, sure. So 3,000 scoundrels is a game about an alternate history wild west it's about a time traveler who came back in time brought a bunch of inventions from the future used it to enrich himself and then has mysteriously vanished one of those stories yeah you know <laughs> just the classic american story um so you play as the most influential people in town who are there trying to fill this power vacuum and you um the game is a game of there's some engine building and some bluffing involved. Yes. I, I hate breaking it down to the mechanics themselves, but the idea being that you are hiring a posse of scoundrels, and each of these scoundrels are unique. So the game's called 3000 Scoundrels because the scoundrels are made by combining two cards together. You get a clear card yeah. and an opaque card. So you might have cocky and sheriff, and you combine those together, now you've got a cocky sheriff, and he's going to have a unique ability based on the combination of those cards. He's going to have a cost based on that, and um, there's 3,000 combinations. So That's amazing. Every game is going to be wildly different. Yeah, yesterday I played with the legendary banker, and yes. that's probably one of my favorite parts of the game thus far. Just in the demo we had, that moment where you're combining the next card to add to the display and getting crazy things like legendary banker or a cocky sheriff yeah, or yeah. all sorts of... There was one that was just a cow. Yep, there's the cow. <laughs> So the artwork is also modular, so you put like a head on a body, but some of them are animals like the cow and the horse, where the horse will just cover up the whole artwork, but it still looks really cool. You get a stubborn cow, you're like, Ugh. Yeah, that, we might have had the stubborn, the stubborn cow, cow, actually. Cow. Yeah, it was a really, really interesting experience, and I gotta say, so far with Unexpected Games, that is exactly what you've done. Like, we played the initiative, uh, you've got voices in the, my head, and now this, wildly different games is that going to be something you try to is that part of your mantra like yeah. that's what you want to do I, I think we want to keep people on their toes it was especially important with our second game to not do yeah. like another cooperative game that was about a campaign because as soon as you do two games in a row that are very similar people will identify your studio as that's you do this game well you're, you're definitely breaking that mold yeah for sure more than anyone else Thanks again for the info on 3,000 Scoundrels. I hope you have a great Gen Con. Continue watching the channel here. We're going to have content like this and much, much more today and Sunday, tomorrow, the last day of Gen Con. Corey, thanks again. Yeah. We'll see you all soon.